now i declare lord we are stepping into the month of september the last quarter of the year blood sucking spirits eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood whether by accident on the road whether by plane crashes by boat crashes by activities of wicked and evil men in the name of jesus may a mark of exemption come upon everyone here I'm seeing chains on people's feet there are spirits that have kept people in one place so that you don't move as soon as I pray fire will begin to fall on a few people father I decree and declare everyone who has been bound by the spirits of stagnation and delay as you shout Jesus be released now are you ready one two three shout Jesus be released be released please bring them out I decree and declare I prophesy your liberty from this tormenting spirit help them please every devil of stagnation every spirit tying you down leave now someone open your mouth and declare I'm moving forward Go ahead, open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I am making advancement in life and destiny. Every devil in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. This is interesting. The Lord is healing a man of impotency in the name of Jesus Christ I speak it by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be supernatural healing for you right now let there be supernatural healing for you right now regardless the medical report we change it now in the name of Jesus someone's left ear someone's left ear in the name of Jesus Christ be healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost the Lord is speaking to me that there is someone you are having the early stages of prostrate prostrate cancer you are a man in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit wherever you are let there be healing for you right now let there be healing for you right now movement around the body I'm seeing someone having movement. Sometimes you literally feel like something is moving around your body. Help them, please. Help her. I command that devil to leave you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. What is that condition where you cannot sleep? In the name of Jesus Christ. Up near. Sleep up near. I'm seeing at least three people having that condition just rolling rolling on the bed but never getting to sleep you are unable to sleep even if it's for an hour in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether in this auditorium or outside I declare be healed right now be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead every infirmity every spirit that is back of any sickness in the name that is above all names I command that spirit to live now in Jesus name right now i decree and declare inside outside be healed now be healed now be healed now blood conditions be healed in the name of jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of jesus organ failures be restored in the name of Jesus I pray for you 
the days of speaking alone and not having anybody listen to you because nobody takes your value seriously whether it's ministerial value professional value business value in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you by this grace that comes upon you now everybody who needs what you carry I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny I gravitate them to your destiny in the name of Jesus the Bible says "Doth not wisdom cry I'm praying for you the era of foolish decisions trouble-making decisions destiny pegging decisions by this impartation of wisdom may you begin to make superior decisions superior decisions decisions one decision that you will make you will leap five years forward five years forward five years forward in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare favor whether you go out whether you come in whether you are in Nigeria whether you are outside Nigeria may that favor compel men to help you speedily compel men to help you speedily Let me the power of God is touching so many people in the name of Jesus there's someone suffering from muzzle pull muzzle pull like like what footballers or athletes have in the name of Jesus the power of God is healing you now someone your right ears you don't hear with it it is opening right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus there's someone you are following from National Hospital National Hospital I'm seeing you on the bed in the name of Jesus the power of God is touching you right now supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is healing someone there is a lump on your left breast as I'm praying right now you are feeling a, a, a sensation of heat that devil leaves you right now in the name of Jesus there's someone your right leg is swollen in Jesus name be healed someone you're beginning to have projections on your throat looking like goita but by the power of the Holy Spirit as I pray right now it dissolves and goes down now HIV be healed now I say it again HIV be healed now every kind of cancer be healed now terminal illnesses be healed now those who came on wheelchairs crutches and any kind of aid i declare life and power to your body begin to walk now begin to walk now be healed in the name of jesus christ eye conditions there's someone outside you could not see the screen very clearly but the power of God is coming upon you and in the name of Jesus perfect vision for you in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you are having like um I'm hearing gastritis in the name of Jesus whatever that condition is be healed of it right now be healed of it right now you have a, a severe problem once you stand in the sun you begin to feel dizzy dizzy and then you can even fall the Lord is healing you right now there's someone you came here your condition is that you have low blood pressure not high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus whoever that person is be healed by the power of the Holy Spirit high blood pressure be healed now Pay attention there is a marvelous work that God is doing here mana shalas koban de bradi galekusia ekro sati balas kadibalando shia
there are some of you your oppressions have come in dreams you go to bed in the night and all kinds of dreams going back to secondary schools writing exams that don't finish eating all kinds of things fraternizing with dead spirits right now at the count of three makatos kata anyone's destiny under the siege of dreams i declare at the count of three shout jesus again one two three let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now by the power of the holy ghost be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb be broken by the blood of the lamb The issue of blood is being healed right now. Very severe issue of blood is being healed right now. There is a gentleman. This is strange. You are a gentleman also. You are a gentleman, not a lady. But when you go to ease yourself, sometimes you ease out blood. That person, the power of God is touching you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ very severe pain around your chest heaviness around your chest in jesus name be healed there is someone here you have a medical condition that cannot allow you have a child you have a medical condition you are a man you're unable to get your wife pregnant in the name of jesus christ you're going to feel like fire just like a sensation come through your body and in the name of jesus the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now the lord is bringing you healing right now there's someone you could not move your left hand i'm i'm even feeling like like weight on my left hand the power of god is touching you right now begin to check it right now in the name of jesus there is someone i am seeing you are not in this country uh, it's not given to me to know what nation but i know you are outside this country you are holding your child your child is five years getting to six and has never spoken and the lord is telling me to pray for that child in the name of jesus i don't know what that nation is but i declare may the tongue of that child be loose now may the tongue of that child be loose now The Lord is showing me a woman. This is an elderly woman, should not be less than 55 years old. This is a woman in the hospital, in coma completely. In fact, it's almost as if she's gone. In the name of Jesus, we knock on the door of life and we declare that woman returns right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone for a long time, please don't be embarrassed you've suffered what we call mouth odor very pungent smell it's not an issue of lack of hygiene you have even gotten some mouthwash and all of that right now as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you and that, that healing is happening right now in fact i'm seeing at least three or four people with this case i just mentioned no matter how you try to maintain your hygiene it looks like that embarrassment continues it's a demonic thing in the name of jesus be delivered the lord is showing me someone you went to bed and you had a dream and in that dream it had to do with death and from the time you woke up you have been sick till now it is the spirit of death in the name of jesus the son of the living god i declare you are free from that demonic thing either the grace is not there has not been received you are not even aware that there is such a grace to that dimension or to that degree or you have received it through impartation but you have not been taught how to activate it how to multiply it your command of results in that area remains stunted or completely absent that is how you know a grace is not there apostle nobody seems to favor me i tell you by the integrity of god's word it is because that grace has not come just because you shouted at a miracle service and fell down while shouting
the grace may have landed but you did not war with it you didn't activate it how many of you know how a ground knot, a ground knot, you know ground knot, when you it's not you don't pick the seeds like that you have to break that shell and bring it out so if i give you a bag full of ground knots are we together i can give you that as a gift but you are the one who will go through the labor of deshelling it am i right on that the same thing with corn when you pluck corn from the farm it is not immediately edible you have to peel it then maybe roast it or cook it or whatever you want to do with it or turn it into flour and sap. that one is your own responsibility I want you to look at the various areas in your life before I give you the third key. Shalika Preska Dibata, Embra Katoskiata, Satan get lost. Let God's people go now in the name of Jesus. Now I'm a HIV AIDS be healed in the name of Jesus. Everyone who cannot see in the name of Jesus, partial or total blindness. I command that eyes to open now in Jesus' name. Anyone who cannot walk, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, let life and strength come upon your limbs now in Jesus' name. There are many people connected from several hospitals. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, let the power of God from here through the airwaves, let it come upon you and bring you life heart palpitations be healed in the name of Jesus growths around the body anywhere around the body we command you to give way right now in Jesus name there's someone you are having severe pain you've gone to the hospital it's like they said something is happening to your I don't know if it's your nerves or just the bones around your spine right now I'm declaring to you let the healing power of Jesus touch you now I'm still praying you hear about good things but your hand never handles it you keep hearing that good things are to happen and yet you are never able to take possession I want to pray right now in the name of Jesus anyone who is a victim of this that good things are always around your neighborhood and yet you never take possession of it the power of God is coming upon you right now the spirit that is responsible for a Paris Qatar for those patterns I decree and declare be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now there is a lady you are from Edo state there is a spirit that has tormented your entire family I will not let you go free right now help her the power of God is coming upon you from Edo state I'm seeing the anointing even coming on people not just one person many people Edo state be delivered now bring them out be delivered now be delivered now Hallelujah! God power of God is going to begin to come upon families there are yokes connected to those regions I declare right now every altar let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance right now in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance right now I break those yokes I break those yokes in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is ministering to me there's someone here every time your time of promotion comes you have a dream and you will see yourself in a place where you have been before and that will be the end of it I don't know who that is but the anointing is coming upon you please bring them out there's a reason why I ask that you bring them out it's not just for show I decree and declare whoever that person is fire from heaven 
is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now fire from heaven is resting upon you now the Lord is showing me a family all the women in that family have similar dreams dreams of retrogression this is from your mother to the sisters the, the ladies right now the power of God is coming on all the ladies who are here in the name of Jesus these ladies Parikatos Ketebata bring them out I break that chain from that family I break that chain from that family I release that family right now 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 please whether you are an usher or not if someone is under the anointing please help to bring them you don't have to wait for the ushers there might be too much for them to do someone you have like a skin infection i'm seeing several things are happening around your skin it's, it's not necessarily lack of hygiene is that something has happened i don't know some demonic thing i declare let there be healing for you right now the lord is showing me people just the throat area it looks like you swallowed something but it has refused to pass down and it's terribly discomforting the power of god is touching you right now every pain around the chest area be healed right now there's there's a lady the power of god is touching a lady you have a lump in fact multiple lumps on the left side of your breast but as i'm praying for you the power of god is touching you right now that devil leaves your body forever in the name of jesus christ the lord is still showing me a family your father is a pastor but there is absolutely nothing that is working in that family a sincere man of god who loves god but poverty failure shame this is what has characterized this family i don't know who that person is you are a lady in the name of jesus is there someone like that please make sure you verify let's not just have people coming out carelessly your father is a pastor i want to pray the devil is a liar just put them they can stand one place anywhere there i want to pray for them you see look at this you can imagine this kind of demonic mockery a man who is who is spending his life serving the lord and then the devil will want that nothing works in his life you see so it can discourage members it can discourage people they can say if you are a man of god why are these things not working for you but in the name of jesus you came here for this miracle service tonight i'm praying for you there are so many of you so i will use you as a point of contact every altar speaking against your family right now i stretch my hands upon all of you who are out here at the count of three that fire will fall upon you one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire i decree and declare those altars are set ablaze i release your parents i release your loved ones i release your parents i release your families have them please every altar that has stood as a resistance to the growth of your family be destroyed now i not only pray for them i pray for you in the name of jesus every altar that sponsors hatred that sponsors trouble that sponsors limitation by the power that raised christ from the dead it is destroyed now i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus I decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority I am a spirit with a mortal body I am a spirit that submits to the authority of Jesus open your mouth and begin to declare 
I have dominion in the name of Jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying Sabagata barate kete balaka to shoprondos ekrete ke barato sodo brenda kete belaka dia shakata praska de balaka ta embrakata baraka to shoda kete pray something is happening pray something is happening he bate ka baraka to shkedia hallelujah hallelujah shout it say in the name of Jesus I take my rightful place on earth as God's steward and I declare Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray I take my place I take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by God to find expression in my life in this season I declare I take my rightful place as God's steward on earth someone just around your wrist the Lord is bringing a miracle for you I don't know if it's that you was it a, 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 a some kind of injury or whatever it is I want you to check it right now the power of the Holy Spirit is stepping upon you in the name of Jesus I'm seeing someone who has like malaria or typhoid you've treated it again and again and it has refused to go in fact you came here feeling so sick right now I'm praying for you may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you where you are in the name of Jesus Christ now any pain around the bone region whether neck hand the the waist area I declare may the power of the Holy Spirit touch you right now be healed in the name of Jesus someone you are having a problem with your nostrils it's like you don't smell completely or is that you don't smell well in the name of Jesus Christ I am praying for you may the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon you now there's someone's child here I'm seeing like like it looks like bipolar you know acting as like madness sometimes a person just begins to talk I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit let there be healing for that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle right now by the power of the Holy Spirit and any condition whether I mention it or not in the name of Jesus the Son of the Living God be healed now be healed now be healed now be healed now the father let me abound in this grace also I have received the grace for prayer let the grace for revelation rest upon me let me not just be a prayer person access to the mysteries of the kingdom someone is praying the grace for favor I'm tired of struggling in my organization struggling in ministry struggling financially compromising here and there because of money Go ahead and pray. Tired of stuntedness, gifted, but limited because the grace for influence is not there. The hear ye him anointing is not there. Someone pray. I make progress, but my progress is slow. Annoyingly slow. Lord, grant me the grace for speed someone pray pray passionately
but I'm using it as a point of contact. Please take what I'm saying seriously. If there is anyone here or any family here appointed unto death, right now I declare, as I'm praying for our mother here, may that, that arrow that has been sent to that family, let it return back to any devil that sent it. Let it return. Let it return to every devil that sent it. Let it return to every devil that sent it. Let it return to every devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.